Hey there folks, this is Stanton's Grave, and you are watching Let's Play Decap Attack. Decap Attack was a game released on the Sega Genesis way back in 1991. A highly slept on platformer in my opinion. Uh, if you like what you see, you can find this game on Steam, actually, for just about $3 now. So, go ahead and check it out. That's not a whole lot. You play as Chuck the Head, and you're tasked with kicking the ass of some fat guy from hell named Max the Cap. Also, you're a mummy. Yeah. It's a truly heroic tale of beating things to death with your face, which resides in your chest. So without further ado, Abdomain Land, World 1, Stage 1. <clears throat> and right off the bat, you see the first and only reoccurring power-up of the game. That's, that's, that's your head. That's your skull, buddy. He's a projectile and returns like a, a boomerang in any other type of platformer game. Uh, when he comes to rest, he'll still kill things if an enemy walks into him. Here we have some arrow guys. They, they are pricks. Idiot duck. The enemies in this first world are pretty simplistic. There's a flagpole, a reoccurring, a bit of a gimmick. You don't really get much out of them except for that last jump where your health not maxed out. If you jump directly up off of the flagpole, it will actually refill your life. And as I progress through this stage, you will see me busting up these weird looking stone faces. There's a werewolf jack. Goodbye werewolf jack. In, in these uh, stone idols, you will find anything from your skull power up to tokens to potions, which I will address shortly. <clears throat> To additional health. And now on to level two. On this level, the game introduces you into the horizontal, vertical, excuse me, <laughs> platforming. Uh, pretty straightforward level, a little more linear than that first one. Killing that adorable little ghost, which uh, eventually, you'll feel no remorse for. They they start to get really frustrating as the game progresses, and you'll eventually understand why. That's me getting hit, freaking out, going into the menu. These are bouncing blocks. A skeleton comes out and headbutts you and gives you some distance and height. I'm trying to cover about uh, everything I can on the stage. It's good to backtrack a little bit to pick up all the power-ups. Again, those uh, items that you see me picking up, those are potions. There's an alchemical system and the menu that you see me accidentally tabbed into twice now, but again, I'll address that in a moment, because stage 2 is over. Stage 3 introduces an important aspect, along with the stage bosses, you have to find an item, that item, it's different in every stage before you can actually complete the stage. So, exploration becomes even more prime. There's a cheap shot. Down here, we come to witness a suicide. R.I.P. Werewolf Jet. Fairly well. <clears throat> Big fan of Warren Zabon. Never really, uh, liked cores like that much, though. 
But this level, as you can see, goes left instead of right, and that is just whew, mind blowing. <clears throat> and as you can see, I got the necessary item, so I'm just grabbing a few potions, my skull buddy, plowing on through, I'm gonna get to the boss, try to finish things out. Potion system, the alchemy system, it's pretty simple, you just go into the menu, uh, there is maybe five or six different uh, effects that you can use. They range from increasing the power of your attack to a special fireball attack that you can use to wreck the bosses in short order to invincibility to just destroying every enemy on the stage. And here we have the boss. A very handsome young man. Strapping. Simple pattern, but when you can afford to take hits, generally you can just light them up before they kill you in a war of attrition. And it's nice to taunt them after they're dead. Stage isn't over after the boss. Have to walk to the end. Troublesome, I know. At the end of every world is a bonus stage. Very simple, sort of like Spider Boss in the old Mega Man game. You lay down your tokens that you collected in the world. Each token creates a chuck. You can put multiple chucks on the same path or spread them out. I prefer to spread them out just to cover my bases. And you hit the button again, it sets your path. Two holes, you get nothing, you can get two potions, or you can get extra lives. And that about does it. With Abdomain Land completed, the island floats back away from the control of Max the Cap. Alright, 